Hello, I was asked to by some of the teachers to do a video over how to do recording on the new line RS Plus Smart Border Interactive TVs. So that's what I was going to do today. Now, for the most part, for the whiteboard software, there is this here, but they don't have any features that will actually let you record. So we'll need to actually get this, and we'll talk about this picture here in a minute. But if we look down here, anything down here, there's no actual features built in that will record audio or video or screen capture. So we actually need to get it. Now the way that we do that is in the gadgets. So if we go back to the home, we clicked on the home button and we click on gadgets. Now inside gadgets there is an app called New Line App Store. They're right here, the New Line App Store. In the App Store there's a lot of different apps you can get, so like New Line US Education. All of these here, they're all free and they're different apps that you can get. We'll go back and there's different ones that you can get down here. You can even get Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, any of these here that you need. Now the one that we'll want is a screen recorder. So we can go type in screen space recorder screen record and we'll load this up here. And the AZ screen recorder is what we want. Now I already have it installed so normally you would click the install button and go through that process and once you get it installed it will show up in your home screen. So if we go back to the home screen and click on gadgets. These here are all the apps that we have. As we clicked on one to find the new line app store, and if we scroll over, there is AZ Screen Record. Now, if we click on it, it'll bring up a button. Here it's bringing up the files itself. Now, once you've loaded and opened it up, so whiteboard, it will show a red button. A different color, yellow. This here will be located somewhere on the screen. So when you click it, it'll bring up these options, different options that we have. The top one up here is to record. So this one here will record the screen. This here will bring up the different options that you have or recorded files. Or recorded files, and we can look at them. This here is some of the settings that you can have. So you can do screen capture. So you can take a picture of the screen or different writing type tools. And I can actually pull that up because I do have access to it here. So we do have the camera. We can brush or we can turn screenshot on and we can utilize those there. Now the other one that is not listed in the setup as I have now is the live button. Now the live button will do two things. And I got it pulled up here on the next slide is it can choose a platform to go live to. So you can either go to Facebook or YouTube and stream your lesson live and what you're talking about live there instead of recording it and having it as a saved file to publish later. But those are the two main things and the main way to do this. Now for audio sake, the main thing that I have found is plugging the audio straight into the device. So if you have it Bluetooth capable, if your new line interactive board has Bluetooth capabilities to it. You can connect a headset or an audio headphone, or sorry, not headphone, microphone to it in some way via Bluetooth. Or if you have a wireless connection, a USB chip of some kind that is used to connect to the headset, you can plug it into the board itself. And either one of those works. And that's the main way or main thing that you need to do to get the screen recording to work. And whenever you're done, you can open it back up and hit stop and then save the file there. 